Today, I'm going to teach you how to make an apple and spiced mead. Let's get started. All right, so in front of me, I have here half of my <laughs> This is some apple juice that's already, uh, I basically just poured a, a half gallon of apple juice into this, which it came from a different brew. This is um, this organic apple juice. Um, essentially, all we have to do is add our and some So I have 1.5 pounds of here and uh, Right after that, I'm gonna add my and then my So let me go ahead and add these things. Essentially, making a is really simple. You take your ingredients, normally your your and you mix them up in uh, to a container of sorts. You take a gravity reading, which we will talk about. It uses a hydrometer, tells us how like the brew is gonna be, um, and then we let it start fermenting. So here's my recipe for this mead. Let me go ahead and mix up all my ingredients. All right, we've mixed everything up for our We have it all right here with that recipe that I mentioned earlier. Um, started gravity 1.082. So that's with the whole juice. Um, I went ahead and pitched my uh, my go, excuse me, my Fermate O, because I'm gonna be lazy and front load nutrients. Um, and of course, my spices. I have a feeling this is gonna be amazing. I am using this waterless airlock. It's a silicone that can breathe. It's breathable, so I don't have to use, which is nice. All right, it's time to let this start fermenting. All right, here we are. After the primary, our has finished, finished fermenting. Um, I think the have pretty much capped out. I mean, we're sitting at one point, it's been sitting at the same gravity for about a week, 1.006. So it, it started to clear up. I've racked it twice now. <laughs> I racked it the first time um, off of the when I noticed them falling to the bottom. And then just now I racked it again because there was even more sediment there at the bottom. What does this taste like with a smidge of sweetness? Let's find out. For being literally only 35 days old, this thing looks really nice, looks pretty clear. The in the, oh, the, the apple even pops through. Oh. I really like that aroma. That is good. Holy shit. That is some good Okay, so the honey is there, which is nice. The um, the apple and the spices are not too strong. Like it's a good mix. Previously, I've been a, a completely against putting spices in the primary because you don't have a lot of control. This actually worked well. I might be changing my tune on adding spices in the primary. That is really, freaking good. I, this is also making me realize using high quality apple juice, organic juice makes a large difference. Um, I'm not done with this yet. I'm gonna set it back for mm, about another week or so. It's clearing up quite a bit. It doesn't look super clear here, but it is starting to clear up some. You can kind of see there, a little bit clear, not super clear. We'll see what it does in a week. And then um, I don't want to leave it on this headspace for too long. So I'll be back. Uh, well, I, I finished and um, I guess I'll go backwards, talk about what happened. So I, uh, after the point of pulling it off, letting it set, I decided to let it, I mean, age for a while, but then I decided to try and clear it up. So I did, I did one thing first, I cold crashed it. I threw it into my cold chamber, forgot to get a photo of this, essentially just a fridge. And I let it set there for, I don't know, uh, a week. And things started to kind of settle down, so I racked it off of the sediment that was there. I then added just some regular medium toast, like French oak chips to it, about half an ounce, and I'll show you a picture of that. Those sat for a week. And then, just now, I bottled it, as you'll see. And uh, 
I was previously thinking about trying to back sweeten and add more to try and pronounce more of that flavor, but honestly, the sweetness level is really nice, and um, I'm pretty sure the are done. I mean, I'm I'm very confident the are done. If I was gonna stay, if I was going to back sweeten safely, I would stabilize and then back sweeten. So please don't be dumb and um, back sweeten before you know your are done via stabilizing or whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and pour this thing. Here we go. All right, so here we have it. It looks pretty clear, not perfectly clear. Um, the oak, I believe the oak helped a little bit with that clarity. Um, I could have gone further and tried to use other alternatives to clear. I could have cold crashed again. I could have used um, dual fine. I could have used easy clear. I could have used all of these options, but I decided let's just go ahead and finish it. Not the most clear in the world, but it still looks pretty good. Let's smell it. Oh yeah. So this, uh, uh, as I was reflecting on this, the spices and in, in the tasting, I was like, could be a little bit stronger, but they're very apparent on the nose. Yeah. Oh, especially the like nutmeg, ginger. The cinnamon is not as strong as I thought. Ooh, yeah, that is very spice heavy on the nose. Now, um, as far as tasting it, let's try it. I actually like this, not super sweet. I kind of like the spice uh, part to take over. And while you, while the apple character is there, it's not extremely like bright apple present. It's like a, it's almost got like a um, um, apple cider kind of vibe right now with the spices. Oh yeah, and that oak, I honestly think the oak has brought out the spices, which is interesting because I didn't expect that. It is dry. Our final gravities were just, we were just chilling. I mean, I didn't, I did not want to try and back sweeten more because I kind of liked where it's at. And the spice character is nice. Um, it does, you know, maybe a smidge of acid could have helped this thing, like a little bit of malic acid, which I might try in a second. But it's very well-rounded, it's still pretty young. I mean, we're only like two months old. So it's it's natural that it's gonna have a little bit of heat. Um, but the tannic value between your spices, which adds some, and the oak is really nice. It's got this good balance between a good wash, where it's just juicy, washy, kind of, and then also like a little cling, a little tannin. I think it's fantastic. This recipe has worked out very well. Um, it definitely is spice heavy, but I feel like in this instance, I wanted the spices to be heavier and present more flavors. Sometimes people will use spices as just like a, to up certain things. I wanted, the, wanted them to be decently present. Mm. I am curious. I am going to sprinkle a little bit of malic acid in Mm, actually, no, not malic. I'm gonna try it. Uh, I don't normally do this, but citric acid is a little brighter. It's more like what you get in oranges and lemons. I wonder if that would help, I don't know, make this a little brighter. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit. I mean, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, now let's mix this up. All right, let's try it. Ooh, yeah. A little bit of citric acid has brought more brightness out, which in some regards has pulled, detracted the attention from the spices completely. But it's, I kind of like it though. I, that's pretty good. I do like it a little more with that citric acid. And I didn't use a lot. So uh, if I were to adjust my recipe, I would probably add a pinch. I'm not going to tell you how much citric acid because you probably need to add some to taste because it can be very potent. But I would add a little citric acid, leave the rest of it the same because that's pretty dang good. This is pretty dang good. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a, um, a very fun video and I'm sure silly for some of you. And uh, I will be back with more content and uh, thank you for watching, and thank you for putting up with my middle schooler humor. Cheers.